Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss about how we can plan for one very good website and uh, based on that we can design the website with the help of Joomla. So I am going to just discuss that what should be the structure of one website before we proceed. I am going to take the example of my own library for which I have designed the library website. Here you can see that uh, the structure which I have taken the top of the page is the Biju Patnaik Central Library and this is the header. Below that I have taken the menus which is used to display the information. So this is the top menu and the left side this is the left menu which I have taken to to just display the important information and the right side these are the banner which I have taken to display the pinpointed information for example I want to display the e-newsletter or e -new, uh, new arrival or I want to reach to the world ebook library page and this is my announcement page where, where I am scrolling the announcement and here this is the scrolling or crawling images which is coming through the module where I have given the images of the cover of the books and you can see at the bottom this is the app which I have created for getting all the information of my latest uh, e-thesis or e-books and here I am using one tabular module which is displaying in each tab you will be getting information like search all it is showing that EBSCO it is integrated with the EBSCO discovery service and it is showing information then if I have to make any announcement then I'll use this if there is any publication this particular information is coming from the Scopus then what are the major downloads user can download and use and this is the statistics of my website okay so uh, means library this is the statics of statistics of my library of different resources and below that I'm using the social icon and uh, this is my visitor number so by watching this uh, particular website structure you must have understood that how we are going to structure our own website I'm going to start with very 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 simple uh, logic or you can say the simple structure Okay, let, let me take one table and here the, I am just going to take the top one as the, I will take it as a header. This will be my header and uh, below that, below that I am not going to keep anything. Left side will be my main menu main menus and in that in main menu I'll be keeping what for example home which will take me directly to the home I'm going to take about I'm going to describe about my library so I'll write about library and below that I'm going to write about all my library resources then library services this is important because users will attract your website only with these two they would like to know what are the resources available in your library and what services they are going to get from your library and then I'll write uh, here the useful links for example apart from your resources and services if you feel that there are some links which can be disseminated for the benefit of users and at last I am going to create the library team I am taking this very simple example on the right side I will be using the banner the first one I will be using the new arrival because this is the regular practice of any library and 
the second one I'll be using any other thing like uh, uh, if I am creating any means developing any newsletter so I'll be giving the link of that e newsletter and in between in between this is my middle page middle of middle portion of the page so I'll be writing the main content here main content with tabular tabular module so that in one place I can accommodate more information and at the bottom this will be my footer which I will be using to display my total number of hits ok so this will be my footer page I am going to delete this so this is going to be my going to be a structure of my website so this is header left side I am going to keep the menu middle I am going to keep the tab and right side I am going to keep the banner and at the bottom footer ok so before we proceed uh, I would like to make you understand that when you click on home button or when you click on about library it should display the information about library or when you click on library resources it should display the information about library resources so in Joomla one thing you have to understand that all the menus are linked with the article or the rele relevant menu type so for example if you are going to create this home or about library so it should show some information so the question is that where you are going to write this information about library so that is called article so before creating menu you have to create the article we call it as a page also so before you create menu you have to create the article first and then this article first and the menu second then only you can link these menu with these article ok so let's get started and see live how we can do this ok so I am going to log in with my user id and password detail here ok it is already saved so it will take me directly it will save my time ok so I am inside the page so as I told you in this example that we have already defined the menu this preparing the structure that's why it is important because in Joomla you must know what menu you are going to create accordingly you can create the article this is what I do so it it makes my work very easy and I can design my website with the ease so already I have structured my website with the menu and all other things so I'm going to create the article and here I'll create the name of article same as I have created means plan for menu so I'm not going to change the name so the first name I have to create the article so to create the article you have to go to content and then click on article and the first article is already there because we took the sample data so I am going to change the name of this article uh, it is getting started so I will change the name of this article as a home so it will be easy for me and I will delete all the content of this so my first article already there I have only changed the name and removed the content so you can see here the first article is home and now if you go and refresh the page you will not see any detail because I have already removed from the home page ok now go to the second create the second article article number 2 and what is that you just see your structure about library ok so I'll create the about library the second page I'll write here about library 
and click on save and close if you click on save and close again you have to click on new to create open this page but if you click on save and new it will save and open the same kind of window to create the third article so I have done that and you can see the second page is created and it has opened the third so what is your third menu library resources so I am going to create one more article with the name of library resources and again I will click on save and new so it has saved and opened the new page where I have to create another article library services ok so I am going to create library services and again click on save and new so likewise you just create all the articles the, this one useful links and then the last one is the library team okay so library team so I have created successfully all the articles which I planned here in order to make my menus okay so now you can observe here that uh, my first uh, article is home about library library resources library services useful links and library teams so all the articles now are ready okay so now our next plan is that we have to create the menu and we have to link these articles with these menu whatever the articles you have created so you have to link these articles with these menu that's why I kept the name same so that you will not get confused so to create to create the menu you just click on main menu and it will open the page where you can see there is already one menu created home and if you click on this it will show you that what type of menu it is as I told you in the previous video that there are different kind of menu type there are different type of menu item so if you click on this it will show the whole structure the menu item type can be article it can be contact few news feed search and so many so this particular is the single article you can observe here this is the single article menu and the article which is attached to this you will notice here that all the articles which you have created will be yes so this article is added here home I, I'll be showing you in the next uh, means uh, next few minutes the, when we add the another article then it will be more clear and then you come to option and here you have to hide all the information which you don't like to display on the page except this I suggest I consider all these information as a garbage on the page because many users they don't like to see all this as they want to get information quickly so these detail may confuse them so that's why I hide all these detail and then I'll click on save and close so I have created one first menu which was already created now let us create the second menu and the second menu is the about library so click on new and it will open the page where I have to enter about library 
and I have to link now my article to this menu. So first you have to select the menu item type as I told you that my item type is article. So this is single article and when I click on single article it will change the layout of this and ask me to select the article. So click on select and here you can choose your article which you created. So you can understand now that I created this article only because I have to add to this menu and for this reason only I kept the same name of the article as it is for the menu. So you will not get confused while linking the article with the menu and now go to option and hide all the unwanted information so that it will not display on the page. This is what I feel that these are the information which can be hidden and it will help you to keep your page neat and clean. But if you wish you can display, you can leave it as it is or whatever the information you like, you just keep it and rest of them you can hide one by one. So you can see I have made changes here and now I'll go click on save and close. So it has created my second page. You can see here the whole about library and likewise I'll create all other menus library services, useful links, library team. Okay. So you can see here that all the menus have been created one by one and now let's go and see the page how it is uh, displaying the information so just click on refresh the page or click on this header anywhere and now you can see here the menus are created home if you click on home it will display the information of the home then if you click on about library then it will display the information about library if you click on library resources it will click on library resources library services, library team and then useful links. So likewise you can create as many menu as you want. There is no restriction and suppose you are not able to accommodate the information inside this uh, bar. So you can create sub menu also and uh, you can add information uh, to those sub menus. So, so far we have covered that uh, how to create the, the menus and how to add the links and now in next video we are going to see that how we can create the sub menu and how we can add the information to the particular article so that uh, the information will be displayed on the page. So thanks for watching this video and next video we are going to discuss so many more about the working with Joomla.